It is a Wednesday, and we are in Fall River, Massachusetts today, and we are going to be working on this three-phase dual-pistoned air compressor. And what was happening in this uh, commercial-slash-industrial air compressor is that that contact right there on that contact, it was burning up, and that heater and that coil spring right there was getting way too hot, causing that thermal overload to trip. And what was happening is this is a pneumatic control system for an HVAC system, so it's using compressed air to operate actuators and valves for the dampers. So basically, they couldn't get any air conditioning in this building and everything wasn't functioning properly so there is the bow door motor and that's a close-up of that contact so here i'm going through some troubleshooting i'm thinking hey maybe you know i got an auto mechanics background you know did they run the system out of oil you know is the compressor piston seized is something else going on with it but it had plenty of oil and now i'm taking a look at this one you know this had a nice filter pleat filter um everything looked normal and that's something that i'm used to seeing on these style compressors and now I'm taking a look at the inside of the cabinet. That's the whole overview. And this is the second air filter. Look at that thing. That was the reason why the system was completely overheating. It was like the air compressor was breathing out of a straw. And there you go. Now we're back down to three amps. Everything is running nice and cool now. I can put my hand on top of the motor. And we're going to be replacing that contactor and ordering the right air filter for that.